Now, Wrexham has a long history as a market town, and Teapow brings together the energy of market life and fuses it with a colour of creativity through performance workshops and exhibitions, generating a dialogue that addresses the issues that truly matter to this community. Hello, I'm Hugh Stevens, and I'm in Wales today to introduce you to the vibrant, creative and community space that is Teapow in Wrexham. Wrexham's cultural heritage and identity is celebrated here, but TPAUB is also outward thinking, helping to support, integrate and benefit communities. With the Make Yourself at Home project, the programme actively works with refugees to start their own micro-businesses and integrate into the community. Before TPAUB existed, this building was the People's Market, one of the three remaining market buildings in Wrexham. So I used to sometimes come into the People's Market and um, it's fair to say that it was struggling as a market and needed something to inject some new life into it, something to give it a new sense of purpose. And TPAB is the bringing together of the People's Market with Oriel Wrexham, the former art gallery from the town. The things that we contribute to life in Wrexham is about providing a space for creativity for lots of different people in lots of different ways. Our work with families is really important providing a service for particularly low-income families to be able to come and take part in different activities with different artists and meet other members of the community. What's interesting is, is that TPAUB is a mixture of trade and culture and I guess I'm kind of a good example of that because I'm a, an artist and I sell my work and, and coming out of the last couple of years it's probably made it more difficult than ever to make a business of any kind work so to come to a place like Tipao, where you've got that unique marriage of culture and unique and niche trades, it's attracting people that might not otherwise be attracted to, to somewhere like this. Wrexham is so down to earth and in a way you're, you're more free creatively. So there's, there's these pockets of, there's different artist studios around. I've just joined an artist studios. There's loads of people being creative. They just get on with it and make things, really good music scene. Creatively, before TPAW, there wasn't really a space that everybody could gather in Wrexham, especially all the diverse faces that we have here. So just to be able to, to bump into fellow artists, get to know new people, buy some really cool stuff at the markets and, and get some food at the same time, it's just absolutely vital for that community mix and cohesion. I think it's inspired a lot of collaborative processes that necessarily wouldn't have happened before TPAW. Tupau has been a fantastic space for us to open a shop in. We have a whole mix of people who come here of all different age groups, having a look at music, um, going through nostalgic, all their memories, which is brilliant for us. It's lovely to hear their stories. It's just a great environment to be in. I call it a little village. So T-Pow reached out to me. They saw the parallels between Rocha's work as a hairstylist and my work as a fine artist and thought, how can Wrexham and t Pow support this? And it sounds a bit sad and dramatic, but it wasn't something that I'd expected would be supported by a local institution at any point. And it was something that I'd wanted to do for a long time. Being from Wrexham and being part of the black community, I think it was really important to feel supported in that way. Our mission, I would say, is to utilise the arts as a tool for social change. And I think t Pow is the perfect context within which to do that. Well, this has been a real treat for me. t Paub is a brilliant example of how a museum can really tap into the spirit of community and bring people together through creativity, ingenuity, and a shared purpose. That's why it's been shortlisted for the Art Fund Museum of the Year 2022.